20 years since Scott Peterson was convicted of murdering his wife and their unborn son. But now his legal team is asking a judge to give them access to evidence from the original trial. Now, they say this evidence can support their contention Peterson is innocent. Claudia Cowan reports from Redwood City. Thank you, Your Honor. Out of appeals and locked up for life, Scott Peterson appeared virtually in the same courthouse where he was convicted of murdering his pregnant wife 20 years ago, hoping lawyers with the L.A. Innocence Project can access evidence that they believe could exonerate him. Mr. Peterson has been waiting 20 years to find some of these police reports and audio recordings and video recordings that should have been provided. Peterson claims he was fishing in the San Francisco Bay when his eight months pregnant wife disappeared on Christmas Eve 2002. Revelations of an affair sparked a media frenzy and in 2004 he was convicted on two counts of murder. But the LA Innocence Project, a nonprofit that focuses on overturning what they say are wrongful convictions, argues the jury never heard from witnesses who believe they saw Lacey alive after Scott says he went fishing, or about a burned out van that contained traces of blood found near the Peterson's home in Modesto. Peterson's lawyers want to test the blood and prove whether or not it was Lacey's. If they can show that it was Lacey's DNA in that van, that may be enough not only to get him a new trial, but to set him free. So it's important that society gets these cases right. The defense pleadings in this particular case, specifically for the DNA motion, is 142 pages. Prosecutors are scoffing at this legal maneuver, saying they did provide Peterson's defense team with a mountain of evidence the nonprofit is petitioning the court to review. More hearings to come as the two sides wrangle over motions and discovery, but here's the bottom line. If a judge rules in favor of the L.A. Innocence Project, we could have a redo of one of the most sensational murder trials in recent history and a stunning twist in this high-profile case. In Redwood City, California, Claudia Cowan, Fox News.